a haul. I went to Hobby Lobby. Sorry, I'm already whacking the camera stand. I went to Hobby Lobby today and I picked up some ditties. So this will just be a short haul and then we'll do something else that I have in mind that I don't know if it's going to be boring or not. So, um, these were Christmas ornaments. So these are like little snowflakes. I don't want to open this up just yet because that's going to go out with my Christmas stuff. But these are like little bronze snowflakes and then they have the string to turn them into little ornaments. And then these are gold. So I grabbed all they had of these gold and bronze um, snowflakes. Okay. Then I grabbed these candy canes and I didn't grab all of them and I'm like regretting it now because some of them are glitter and some of them aren't. So I kind of wish I had like a good amount of both of them, but these will be fun next year on Christmas tassels and random crap. So there's that. Okay. Um, I got some napkins. So I love these too. Um, this one has little gnomes, so I thought that was adorable. And this one is lemons. Um, I do have napkin packs in my Etsy store right now. These ones obviously aren't in them, but um, if you did want these, if you wanted a gnome one or a lemon one, and you purchased a pack from my Etsy store, uh, just put in the notes, add gnome or add lemon, and I will add one in for you because I'm going to be ripping into them puppies. Look, those ornaments, they shed glitter. I'll have to seal them up before I use them. I'll have to spray them or something because... And yes, my drop paper's down. I'm doing some painting papers. Chill. That video's coming too. So I don't know about your local Hobby Lobby, but mine had all of their dyes on clearance. And they were all like 40 like 40 to 50 percent off I think and there were a lot of Christmas ones I wanted to um, grab some of the Christmas ones but they were still too expensive for my blood so these are Momenta and this is an embossing folder with dies with it um, I like the hummingbird I like this little thing and the little flower but I like the embossing folder and this one I love this embossing folder the bee stuff is cool. Um, you know, I like the bee happy. And I like the bee, obviously. And I'm always into flowers. But I got this for the embossing folder. So these were both $5.99 a piece. Normally $9.99. I do not know what an emboss and transfer set is. So we're going to open it up and guess. But I will tell you why I bought it. I bought it because I don't know if you remember my video where I talked about how I needed to purchase a special doodad for... Um, to cut dies with and it was $30 well this was nine so I'm like you know what I'm gonna just buy the damn thing so this let's look at the very poor instructions that they give you uh, you put it in the sandwich the impression pad which is this part and then this gray thing is silicone so you put the silicone down works with thinlets okay and it works with um, embossing folders so I don't know maybe this just uh, maybe this is kind of like the thing I bought and it just kind of the silicone has a little bit of give to it and it will um, you know put the impression in better ooh or it takes your die and turns it into an embossing folder if you know, let me know. <clears throat> I did not need this, but I was not going to go and spend another half a million dollars on a tool to find out I could have bought it for nine bucks. So if this, if I don't use it, um, then I'll just sell it at a live sale or something. But I'm not, I, I bought it because they were almost out of all of their Sizzix stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I know how much I need these stupid tools when I need them, so... All right, I can't get that one back in, so we're just going to do it later. And I got this little mushroom set because I liked these little mushrooms and the flowers. And this was $7.19, originally $11.99, so there's that one. 
Now, um, I got these. They had all of their um, thread, the Hobby Lobby brand Sewology. So these are two um, metallic threads for the slow stitching. I love them. So um, some people will be getting some of this in Happy Mail. I will be making little cards of it. Um, and it's a nylon. You know, it's a blend. It's not fancy. And the next thing I got, I got because I went to Hobby Lobby a few months ago and I saw a ton of trim. So I'm like, and I didn't buy it. And then I, you know, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. So today I bought it. it and this was like, I don't know, I was there like two months. It was probably, it was probably November that I went or beginning of December. Um, so I bought this. So I got this yellow one. Okay. I got this dark blue one. All right. I got, <laughs> I've got like a domino effect of things going on here. I got this green color. I like it. It's like an olive almost. And I also got red. So I got all of the primary colors here. Um, and I'll be selling this by the yard because uh, I got 15 yards on each. It says as is, so obviously I'm going to go through it and make sure it's all kosher. But another reason I bought this is because I'm going to put these in my windows and on my doors and stuff in my studio. Um, when I hang curtains, I'm going to want beads and I'm going to want pretty frillies. So I have a few doors to cover and I have two windows. So, and my doors have windows. Except for the interior door, it's a big wide opening. But I will also want to use these on the interior door. So I have four of these, okay? They weigh a ton. And my husband wants to be Bob Ross, so we got oil paints for him. Now on Amazon, I just ordered these and um, I ordered them because they were on sale. Let me just dump this stupid glitter crap. That makes me crazy. And I'm gonna, we'll swatch them really quick. And if they are decent, I will link them down below if we like them. I like the box, the box is cool, you know, and that's, that's a, that's a thing, right? You need a cool box for your pens. Um, but I have a, another set of cheap, uh, cheap gel pens and I do I do like those but um, you know you just can't have enough so just can't so this is the set I know there's a couple of duplicates um, the box says what it comes with it's 60 pens you have glitter neon pastel and metallic okay 24 fashion colors 20 glitter 6 neon 5 metallic and 5 pastel somewhere in there there are duplicates. I did see that in the in the ad on Amazon. So uh, I already know it's coming. And I thought we would do my um, you know, my swatching on a junk tilde page, right? Why not do it on the last? Now we'll just pick a page. All right. So we'll grab this dark color here to write. Ooh. That pen is hard to get off. Oh, okay. So that's something to get used to. Zebra pens. I've never swatched anything before. Okay. So this is gonna be a first for me to swatch something. So we'll start at the very end. This I'm gonna swatch it my way though, okay? So I decided to speed this part up because, you know, it's kinda, kinda boring. And I'm not gonna lie, getting those things out of that box and getting those covers off was painful. My hands hurt at the end of it. So um, I get to the end of the video 
and uh, obviously you're going to know my my thought on these. Uh, I'm not impressed. There are air bubble spaces in them, and I don't know how to get those out. If you know how to fix the air bubbles in gel pens, please feel free to let me know because I have about a half a dozen, maybe a dozen of these have bubbles. And you know that once I get to that point, it is not going to go very well. Um, <laughs> that was just my daughter running like an elephant. Um, but I do like the glitter. The glitter pens were really nice. And I really liked the neon ones. Um, you, will, you will see those coming up. But as you can see, these glitter ones are nice. And uh, I started taking them out a few at a time because it was just, they were awful to try and open and try and take out of that box. Um, here's one that didn't work. Um, so I put that one aside. I think I had two that didn't work. Very nice, honey. Um, I had a few of them that didn't work and I had a few of them that took a little bit of uh, convincing. But I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with this set of pens. I will not be leaving a link for these below. <laughs> I would have if they were nice, but they aren't, so I won't be. Um, I do have a couple of other things from Amazon that I will be testing out. You'll be seeing some videos of. And uh, one of them I really hope that it comes out, um, that it's something that I like. It's a set of cheap watercolor paints, but there's like 72 colors. So I didn't even know there were that many colors, man. So I, I really wished, I really was hoping that these pens uh, would, would do what I, what I wanted them to do. <clears throat> because the box is really nice. But shame on me, I didn't look deeper into the reviews when I went to buy them. Um, and just so you know, that white pen did work on that white paper. Spoiler alert, it worked. Uh, but I'm getting into the neons now. The neon, all the neons were nice. The green took a little bit of uh, coaching, you know, but it ended up becoming, uh, it ended up coming out. The orange, the pink, and I think the the neon yellow was probably one of my favorites. Um, but uh, I, I end up having a guest star show up. You will see some guest hands. Um, and my hands were killing me by the end of this, trying to get those stupid covers off and trying to get them out of that holy thing in the box. Which, by the way, I decided to keep that cardboard thing because, you know, we art with junk, so I'll find something with that. But yeah, if you have bad arthritic hands, um, <laughs> these pens are going to be your enemy. Uh, I do not have arthritic hands, and it was uh, kind of and my hands ached when it was done. My hands ache just watching myself open in these right now. Um, so yeah, Lily comes and she does a little bit of swatching too. Uh, you know, I can really understand why people do the swatching because I have some pens that were really, that really ended up being a different color than they wrote out. So I, I never understood why people swatched except to see what the quality of the product was. But now, you know, that I'm like all kinds of an artist and stuff, I can totally get it. Uh, you know, I had a few pens that really surprised me. The color of the lid to the color of the pen was totally, you know, totally different. What you thought it was going to be ended up being something totally different. Um, so, yeah, Lil really had fun. I might, you know, let her play with these. And honestly, I, I might just keep my cheaper ones and let her do stuff with these ones. But... You know, we pretty much share everything anyway, so we'll see how that goes. She uses she uses some of my pens and my markers sometimes. She used some of my Crayola Super Tips for one of her for a Girl Scout cookie poster, um, and that was she does good. She takes care of my stuff. Uh, there were a lot of greens, which was nice. It was nice to have a lot of different shades of green, but again. Uh, I, the colors that they ended up being were totally different than the colors I thought they were. Um, and, uh, it, I, I was pretty, pretty
pretty disappointed with the amount of air bubbles that were in each one. Well, the few that I, I saw them in. And I hope that they aren't all difficult to start like they were this time. I hope that was just because they were new and I hadn't used them before. So, you know, my fancy swatch page is actually just a mess. So, you know, don't take my swatching seriously because it's definitely a mess. I watch some people swatch their watercolors and stuff and they have it perfectly lined up and terrific, you know, lettering and yeah, as you can see, that's totally what I did here. Uh, but, you know, it's something, to, it was something new in my Junk Tilda book and maybe I'll just leave this pa these pages like it is to remind myself of the time that I killed my hands trying to open a bunch of crappy pen lids. Uh, that one I think wasn't, uh, I don't remember, a cup, one of the ones that didn't work I ended up getting to work. Uh, we ripped the paper right there trying to, um, we ripped the paper there trying to get one of them to work. Apparently we got a little frustrated with that. Um, I do like the box, but I don't like the box. Um, I, I think I'm going to, I put the pens in upside down and I store them upside down. But I show you a few of the gel pens that I've gotten at Dollar Tree. I have a few sets of them, uh, different ones. Some of them are the individual ones that Dollar Tree sells. And then I bought a set of glitter gel pens from Dollar Tree that I love. So you'll see those. Um, those white marker things in there, those were cheap sets of markers I bought from uh, Ally Express, I think, years ago. And except for the ones that my kids left the caps off of, they are all, they are all awesome markers. Um, they came in like a set of, I don't know, 12 and I really liked all the colors. And what I like about it is that they also worked on black paper, which was nice. Um, so I have some, like, this is one of the gel ones of, from Dollar Tree, the glitter ones. And of course, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, they work great, but um, that one didn't. <laughs> so that was another one from Dollar Tree. This is another one, blue um, metallic and glitter uh, marker uh, pens from them. So I, I liked them a lot. And they had, you know, black glitter, which was something different, a black glitter pen. And those larger fat ones that I'm holding, those are the ones that are made by the brand Ink, I-N-C. And they sell them at Dollar Tree. Sometimes they sell them individually, and sometimes they sell them in a two-pack. And uh, they are really, really nice pens. I, I like those a lot. Um, I put them back in there upside down because I don't want the gel to move. This one is from Walmart. They came in like a pack of five for only a couple of bucks. And it's supposed to be color changing. Um, but I haven't gotten one to change color yet for me. So I write a little note about how it's supposed to be a color changing pen. But I'm only stuck with blue and it's not changing to any other color. Because I wanted to see if I could write out another color. But it didn't. It didn't work for me. Um, so the zebra pens, I do not recommend. Cheap Dollar Tree pens, I do recommend. And I will show you the cheap set of pens that I got uh, a while back. I will, I will show you those at some point in my life. But I hope that you liked my weird haul slash swatch video. And I will see you soon. Ta-ta for now.